This is some good environmental news. Sanders and Ocasio-Cortez bill would outlaw fracking by 2025. Um, not soon enough. Fracking needs to be outlawed today, but still good to see a bill out there that gets rid of it. Sanders Ocasio-Cortez bill would outlaw fracking by 2025. A bill introduced last week by Senator Bernie Sanders that uh, Representative Alexander Ocasio-Cortez helped craft would ban fracking nationwide by 2025. By the way, this one was shared by Jack. Thank you very much for this article, Jack. Uh, according to his newly unveiled text, the legislation would immediately prevent federal agencies from issuing federal permits for expanding fracking, new fracking, new pipelines, new natural gas or oil export terminals and other gas and oil infrastructure. A House version of the legislation is being spearheaded by Ocasio-Cortez and Darren Sato in Florida. By February 2021, permits would be revoked for wells where fracking takes place and that are within 2,500 feet of a home, school or other inhabited structure. They should have never been built in the first place. The wells would be required to stop operations, which is good because they never should have been built in the first place. Fracking for oil and natural gas will become illegal on all onshore and offshore land in the United States by January 1st, 2025. Boom, baby. Keep in mind what fracking is. Fracking is uh, where we drill deep into the earth to uh, extract natural gas. It causes earthquakes. It poisons water wells. It is a barely a drop in the bucket to our energy needs anyway. Most of that energy does not stay domestic. It gets shipped overseas. So all it does is pad the pockets of CEOs. That's all fracking does. It pads the pockets of CEOs. When a Democrat, I'm looking at you, Hillary Clinton, uses that tired talking point of, well, I don't like fracking, but we need it in case we have an energy emergency. That is a straight up lie. That energy is not for our use domestically. That is a straight up lie. And Hillary Clinton, by the way, promoted fracking all around the country. And here you got Bernie Sanders, AOC. They want to get rid of it. You know who else is cool with fracking? Joe Biden, totally cool with fracking. And pretty much every other Democratic candidate out there, cool with fracking. Who's not cool with fracking? AOC ain't cool with fracking. Bernie Sanders ain't cool with fracking. Fracking is a danger to our water supply. It's a danger to the air we breathe. It has resulted in more earthquakes, and it's highly explosive. To top it all off, it's contributing to climate change, Sanders said in the statement. If we are serious about clean air and drinking water, if we are serious about combating climate change, the only safe and sane way to move forward is to ban fracking nationwide. Here's what AOC had to say. The science is clear. Fracking is a leading contributor to our climate emergency. It is destroying our land. It is destroying our water and it is wreaking havoc on our community's health. So it's good to see this. I mean, obviously at the moment, we're not going to go super far because uh, something like this would not be signed by Donald Trump, obviously, but hopefully this is something we can look forward to in the future. And with a president Sanders, we know if something like this comes to his desk, he's going to sign it. We should have never been been fracking. It should have never happened. The proper scientific homework was not done in advance. Since it's been done, the science the science community overwhelmingly is against fracking. They know how dangerous it is. They know that the uh, the benefit, quote unquote, which is not even a benefit, it just pads the pockets of CEOs. But the potential energy benefit does not even come close to what the cost is. And it's time for a Green New Deal. It's time to reinvest the way we do our energy. It's time to get off of fossil fuels completely, period. All right. So that's a little bit of good news. It's something like that's floating around. Hopefully it moves forward. Thank you for sharing that, Jack. Get your news on with Rhonda. Do you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Rhonda. Do you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news through it together and make